faces on the side of the road. Love, take her down to the street. With Cody and Jeremy from Ragweed, we're talking road stories, boys. So uh, I know you guys have some uh, some wild road stories to tell us about. Wild and crazy road stories. What do you think, Cody? Man, with 15 years, we always talked about this. We got a lot of stories, but after a while, it's like the really funny, awkward stuff is just every day. You don't even laugh anymore. <laughs> but I don't know. You know, one come up today with our buddy Madsen. He was talking about being in uh, Italy with his best friend and they were saving money and woke up cuddling. Aww. And uh, when we were in the van and trailer one time, Jeremy and I were sharing a bed and we woke up in a gentle embrace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's crazy or not. It's kind of cute. There's something. You guys been out on the road lately playing some uh, acoustic shows with uh, Bruce Robinson, Seth James, Charlie Robinson. Is that kind of uh, what's next for you guys? Right now we're just doing the uh, acoustic thing just to kind of keep the ball rolling, you know. And Jeremy and I and uh, Seth James and uh, David Bowen, who's from Yukon, Oklahoma, our hometown, and he played with Stoney and with uh, Blue Edmondson. Dave's been calling it our collective destiny to play together, and we. Seriously, man, when Ragweed said we're going to cut it down and then cut it off, we called Dave. And we were going to do like a little side project with Seth anyway, just just to do something different, you know. We're, not like we were tired of Ragweed or anything, just a little change of pace, you know. And once all that kind of boiled down, we called Dave and said, let's do a gig, let's do a band, you know, and not a couple of record band, you know, let's dive in and go full throttle you know and so that's on the horizon next you know we're gonna we don't have a name yet because we're still looking to, well we're trying to make sure we can use the name that we have in mind yeah and we're gonna go for a little harder rock and roll thing you know I mean we've we all grew up with 70s rock and roll and you know we had the Haggard and the Willie and everything on the other side of the house but I think we kind of hit hit that with ragweed but with the, the metal background that Jeremy has and the jazz background that Dave has and says a guitar god and he can sing anything and big fans of the rock and roll movement of the 90s not really trying to put a a sound on it before it happens but you know we're just we're going for some guitar driven rock and roll you know with smart lyrics not just banging through a chord and screaming you know yeah just We'll try to make it well thought out music with this next project. We've had Seth here on the show uh, before, uh, riding around, telling us some road stories. How long have you known Seth? We've known Seth for about 12 years, maybe a little over, a little under. A little under. But um, we, him and I, have the same background, family background. His family's from Weatherford, Guthrie, Texas, and my family's from Archer City, Seymour, and. We had talked about it for years about how we probably hunted Easter eggs together and stuff, and then sure enough, he hung out with my dad and his dad and my dad used to run around together. My dad used to go watch his dad play drums with a band and met my mom at one of their shows and and we've already started kind of uh, hammering things out into shape, you know, as far as some of the some of the songs we pick. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, so it's been coming for a long time. I'm looking forward to it. We've already all started writing new stuff and got a direction and not gonna rush a, a release or anything on it. We're just gonna write the tunes and get, get rolling. Kick off, turn the next page, you know. If you're confident, I will let you in.
go check those guys out live. You'll thank me for it. Coming up next is our Texas legend, ZZ Top.